This video is sponsored by LG. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and welcome back to my home theater. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is the final form of my home theater, but we did make some significant upgrades to it that really changed the experience here. But the first thing that we upgraded, if you guys gotta take a look at, is our projector over here. This is one of LG's Cinebeam 4K projectors, specifically the HU85LA. Now this guy right here is what we call an ultra short throw projector. And basically what this means is that it can be really close to the wall to project to the screen. Now what's awesome about this projector is that it can just be two inches away from the wall and project a 90 inch screen. And if we move this out to about seven inches, you can get all the way up to 120 inches. Now the reason why I really like ultra short throw projectors is because this thing stays close to the wall and you know what that means. If you're walking around getting up to use the bathroom while you're in the home theater, you don't have to worry about any shadows or anybody blocking the image. You know what it's like in a movie theater. Now, of course, you know this is a 4K projector with HDR10 support with dynamic tone mapping. And basically what that means is that it's going to give you the best optimized HDR image frame by frame. So every little split second you see something on your screen, this thing is processing and making sure you're getting the best quality possible. And it also gets really bright. Now we have it in our home theater where we have a lot of control of the lights, but if you wanted to use this in somewhere like a living room where there's typically a lot more light that you can't control, you'd still get a really clean image from this. Not to mention this thing is a smart projector and you get access to WebOS. And honestly, WebOS is the best interface that I've ever used on any projector or TV. Now, as you guys can see, we've got a pretty crazy sound system here, but even if we weren't using the sound system, here's what surprised me the most about this projector. You see this guy over here? This is pretty much where the speakers are housed, and I am telling you guys, this is actually a really good sounding projector by itself. So if you don't have it in a crazy home theater setup, maybe you do use it in a living room or something, I don't even think you'd need any special speakers to accompany it. It'll do a pretty good job by itself. But that is not the situation here, guys, because what we've got over here is an awesome sound system, a 13.2 surround sound system by the folks over at Klipsch. And I am telling you guys, it is amazing in here. It sounds awesome. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. I did not set this up by any means. My good friend Jared came over all the way from Florida spend some time with us and hook up this entire sound system and he perfected it. Now you guys might know him as the guy who builds a lot of my Gundams. He makes some awesome custom builds, but this guy has a knack for home theater stuff. So huge, huge shout out to him for hooking up this entire system for me. Jared, good looking out my man. You guys can give him a follow. I'll have him linked down below in the description. Awesome stuff over there. But let's talk about these speakers now. So we have full Dolby Atmos in here. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Dolby Atmos, you're gonna want your home theater to have that. Because what we have over here is not only surround sound all around you, but even in the ceilings, we've got four speakers so that you can even have the immersion of planes flying over your head, all kinds of craziness, guys. Now the line that I have here is from Klipsch's reference premiere line. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And of course, the point two is for the gigantic subwoofers that we have over here. And guys, let me tell you, my house shakes but this is probably more on the high end line. They also have some more affordable systems that you can find even in Best Buy. So I'll have links to those down below in the description as well as what I've got here. And Jared made sure that the acoustics sound really good in here. We did a lot of soundproofing with the different sound panels that you see over here. We even have some sound panels up there and even behind the sub and behind the towers. And not to mention, 
even our systems over here. So we've got our PlayStation 4 Pro and our Xbox, and underneath them, we've got some sound panels as well. So they're not shaking all over the place when this clip system goes nuts. So you guys are seeing where we're getting all of our visuals and our audio from, but this all needs to feed into something so that we make sure that everything is getting the power that it needs to have optimal performance. Enter the Denon AVR X8500H, the ultimate top of the line receiver. So this guy right here is a receiver, and pretty much for those of you who are probably new to home theaters, you don't know what a receiver is, this is pretty much where you plug everything that you're gonna be projecting or showing in your home theater, uh, this is what you're gonna plug it into. So that's gonna be your audio, your visuals, your gaming systems, your Chromecast, all that goes right into this guy. And behind here, oh my goodness, so many different inputs, guys. But once you figure out everything and you've got everything hooked up in the right spots and you get your configuration going, there's nothing you can throw at this guy that it can't handle. Now, I want you guys to see all of the features that this thing has built into it and all of the different codecs that it supports. And this thing even has some of the more techy features that we're all looking for, like AirPlay 2, which is really new. It works with Alexa, Google Assistant. It has a lot going for it guys and this is why it is top of the line but what i used to watch some awesome 4k goodness is this blu-ray player this is the sony ubp x800 mark ii i think i got that right i deserve a cookie if i did uh, but that is the blu-ray player that we use here now you can of course watch 4k on netflix and all that kind of stuff but you want to listen with Dolby Atmos with a system like this. So I had to pick up a Blu-ray player. Never thought I would actually do that, but here it is. This is dedicated for that. And guys, I never thought that this would happen, but I bought Blu-rays, like legitimate Blu-rays. But I had to if I wanted to get that awesome sound. Don't judge what we've got here. We've got some Godzilla, Dark Knight, Spider-Man. Old School Hulk, Black Panther, you know. And we also got Ready Player One. Ready Player One, guys, sounds amazing in here. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Uh, something that I'm looking forward to watching that I haven't seen yet is Alita Battle Angel. But either way, guys, this is kind of uh, where we watch everything when we want that full home theater experience. We do it all on this Sony Blu-ray player. Now for something a little bit more boring, but we gotta talk about it real quick is everything that you see here is plugged into this guy right here. We have a UPS system, and that is pretty much an uninterruptible power supply system. And basically what that means is if there's a blackout, everything goes off, I'm still gonna be able to watch my movie uninterrupted. Usually you have something like that connected to a PC, so you're not losing any important data. Uh, but if I'm playing a game here, I don't want a blackout to cut my game off right in the middle of it. I'm gonna finish and get my save on and then we'll deal with the blackout. Uh, but besides that, when it comes to power, we also have this guy over here. This is something I picked up from Amazon just to help out with a little bit with cable management. You can actually go ahead and mark the different things that you have plugged in. There's like a surge protector in there and you've got different USB ports. It's a nice, it's a nice little spot to, just have all of the recliners plugged into so that the cables aren't dangling all over the place. They feed right into this guy. Now, of course, you guys know, in the ultimate man cave, you gotta have snacks. And we still keep those on deck. So lots and lots of snacks. We got some in there, obviously. We got some over here. Now, this has dwindled a bit. Since you guys last saw it, of course, you know, we snack, we eat while we watch our movies. We got the popcorn maker over here. So, you know, we're always ready to go. We got the little mini fridge. And if you guys are interested in any of the things that we're using in this home theater, I'll be sure to have this, these little furniture pieces and snack stuff linked down below in the description. Everything else is pretty much the same inside of here. We've got the awesome recliners that you guys saw in the first video. We've got these awesome comfortable chairs that I also really, really like using. Jared hates them, but I love them. We changed the carpet, it's much bigger now. We wanted something so that all that sound wouldn't just be reverberating everywhere. 
echoes all over the place. So we got that sound under control in here. Now, like I said, this is not the final form. There's still a couple of things that we need to do. One of the main things I think I wanna change is that screen, but we'll have more on that at another time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you like seeing some of the cool upgrades that we did in here. I'll of course have links to everything down below in the description and some more affordable options if you guys are interested in getting your own home theater system going. But till the next video guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.